dotted lines to make the stuff in the blue, the bottom of my box, and these are my sides. So that's what, how I'm making this box. Determine the volume of the box as a function of the variable x. Well, let's start with something that's pretty easy for everybody. Standard box. What's the formula for the volume? Area. Yeah, length times width times height. So V equals L times H times... Okay, I didn't put them in order, but it's all there. L times H times W. What is the length for my box when I folded everything up? 36 minus 2x. Yeah. 36 was what I started with. To get to the blue part, I took x out on each side, so it's going to be 36 minus 2x. What's going to be the width of my box? 36 minus 2x. Same thing, 36 minus x on each end, so 36 minus 2x. And what's going to be the height of my box? X, because when I fold these up, they're X high. So my formula for volume of this box is 36 minus 2X times 36 minus 2X times X. What is the domain of this function? Are you sure? No. We're never sure back here at this table. <laughs> what are the questions I asked? What are the questions I asked for domains? Is there a denominator? No. No. Is there a square root or an even root? No. no. Is there a log or a natural log? No. Is an inverse involved? Yes. Is it a real world problem? Yes. yes. And what can you tell me about x in the real world? Why not? Because there's two x's in the corner? What, I'm sorry, what? No, x is not the reason. That's not why. What is x? It's the length or the height. You can't have a negative length. So I know that x, which is the length, has to be bigger than zero. Can it be equal to zero? No. Can you have a negative length, a zero length? Yeah. You can, you can have zero. In a non-real problem. In a non-real problem. You can have a length of zero. But if I had a length of zero, would I have a box? No, you would not have a box. <laughs> no, I would not have a box. You would have an imaginary box. I wouldn't even have an imaginary box. I'd have a flat piece of paper. Just kidding. Now, <laughs> is that enough? Just say, okay, x has to be bigger than zero? You want to know what x is. No, I don't. <laughs> then it's done. Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, can I have an X uh, as big as like 100? Well, how deep is your box going to be? <laughs> what are you trying to fit in there? A body? Does it a car? Can I have an X Air? as big as 100? Yeah. Air? No. No. Uh, no, 36. 18. Can I go all the way to 36? No. Because if you think about it, if I cut from this direction a whole 36, how much can I cut from that way because I'm supposed to do it at each corner? None. So I can't do that. 17.9. We are awesome. The best way to think about this is your length, your width, and your height all have to be positive. Yes? So if I take my length, 36 minus 2x, and find out where it is positive, I will find out what I have on that end. So I will have negative 2x is greater than negative 36. When I divide both sides by negative 2, I get x is less than 18. I could do this again for my width, but it's the same process and it will give me the same piece, so I don't need to do it in this case. And so I need to look where this part, x is greater than 0 and x is less than 18, overlap. Well, where is that? Nine. Thirty six. Between. between zero and eighteen, and neither end is included because 
I wouldn't have a box if I cut out nothing. Did you say 17? He said 17.9. <laughs> really well, I mean, think about it. Like, I was just, I was specific about it, but that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I figured he was just going the first thing less than 18 that he thought of. But there are other things less than 18 that will still produce a very strange looking, narrow, but tall box. 16.25? Well, I was thinking, you know, like 17.9999999999. We'll be a very skinny, but very tall box. Little, little bar over the top. We're not going. All right. So now here's the next question. Yeah, we do. I have time to tell you how to find the next question. Use a graphing utility to approximate the values of x that produce a volume of 3,280.5 cubic inches. Now I want to know what x is. How am I going to find this? Solve for x? Well, the volume is given to you, 328 cubic inches. Uh-huh. So that's 328 x cubed? Oh, you guys are cute. Did you guys read the first part? What's a graphing utility? Your calculator. Get your calculator. What are you going to do with it? Plug in your volume. Plug in your volume. No, not the highest point. That's not the easy one. Plug in your volume in one of your Y's. You want to know where it runs into here. This should be your other Y. And then you can find out where this is. By next time, I'm guessing you'll ask me what we're doing. It just follows me, dude. It's terrible. I didn't know.